All right, what's going on guys, Knoxville 363. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, there is an update on the foam. And how you know if you need it or not is if you go to your settings, scroll it onto the bottom, right here where it says build number, the last, it'll say B, oh, let me not touch it, there we go, B08. So if you have already rooted your phone, uh, this will be the only way that this will work for you because if you try to update it manually yourself by going to system updates and update firmware, it will not work if you have root access to your phone. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that if you already rooted your phone and you want to update. All right, so now if you do need to update your phone and you did not root your phone, then you don't need to follow the rest of this video. For you, all you have to do is, now apparently, according to AndroidForums.com, I guess people, it, this does not work if you are on Wi-Fi, so I suggest that you just do it on off of 3G, wait till you have a strong 3G signal. All you have to simply do is click System Updates and select Update Firmware. Oh, now they added this, now that I'm updated, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, so you up, all you have to do is simply hit Update Firmware, and it'll... Uh, give you all the prompts and you can get updated to B08 that way. So once again, if you did not root your phone, you don't need to follow the rest of the instructions on the video. All you have to simply do is just click update firmware and then it'll do it all for you. All right, so the ZTE Warp was updated. Um, I did get the idea to make the video from this guy's post. Um, so all I simply did was I just made a video. I didn't come up with this. I, I don't deserve all the credit. All I'm simply doing is because I ran into a few um, little things and it took me a little bit to figure it out based on the fact that I did root my phone. And so if you did root your phone, you may find this uh, video a little bit useful and it'll help you update your phone. Even though it is nothing crucial to at this point in time, I still suggest that you do it based on the fact that why not update it if it's out. I'm sure it's updated for a reason. All right, due to the fact that ZTE now has removed their uh, link on their website due to the fact that Boost Mobile now enables you to just download it straight from your phone, uh, I will put the link in the description. I would suggest you go ahead and click on the link. If you have root access on your phone, go ahead and click direct download and this little box will pop up. Go ahead and save that to your computer. Now once you have that saved on your PC, go ahead and double click it. Um, you will, once again, there will be a little box that pops up. Just go ahead and this little box pops up. Go ahead and click close. Now there will be two things inside this folder. It will be the PDF, which I, you don't need to read it now because I'm telling you guys what to do, but either way, once again, I'm on Windows 7. Let me, sorry, I'm using the camera. Um, go ahead and double click on the exe file. Now due to the fact that I already have this running, all you simply do is click on that and it will start installing on your computer. Go ahead and run through all the prompts until, that, until you get this little icon on your computer. This is the main thing what you're looking for. Go ahead and double click it and it will open up. Once again, I already have it installed on my computer and I just got done using it. So. Um, that's why it's giving me this message. This message will not pop up on your computer. What it's basically going to do is it will install the driver so that it enables you to use the program. So let me run through this. I'll shut it down and I will reboot and let you guys know what it looks like. All right, so now that we have our icon, I rebooted up my PC. So now what will happen is you got to give it a second and let the server sync up with ZTE and your computer. Make sure that the network is up. Sorry that the camera's swaying, but I'm holding on to it. So this can take anywhere from a couple seconds, couple minutes. And as long as their network's up, you're not going to have any problems with this. The main thing is, which I... <laughs> Because I'm a guy, you don't want to read the instructions, you just want to go with it because you think you know what you're doing. Well, then you're going to end up wasting time like I did. So basically, this is it. The, um, this little prompt box will pop up. This is the actual update tool. And the main thing you're looking for is the detection of network end. And make sure that it is available, okay? Let me get this tripod set up. All right, now, so that you guys don't have to read through the instructions, I'll just go ahead and do it for you. 
Now what you want to do is you want to power off your phone completely. So go ahead and do that. Now if you do read through the PDF, it's going to tell you that the camera button is the power button and it's not. Okay, the power button is the actual power button on top of the phone. Now, without having your phone plugged in, which is what I kept doing, that's not what you do. You simply have, what you basically are doing is you're holding down the volume down button and the power button at the same time to put your phone in FML mode. Okay, so what you do is kind of like when you're jailbreaking iPod Touch where you hold the power button or the, and the home button. That's the best way I could describe it. So now what you want to do is you simply hold down power, hold down the volume at the same time. Now you just give it a second and what will happen is the screen will turn white just like this and the screen will read FTM. Okay, that is what you want it to say. So now is when we take our USB and we plug it into the phone. We put the phone down and now we watch the screen. Now this part did take quite a bit of time, but just to save time, okay, and it went a little bit faster. It will obviously tell you what handset you have, it'll be the warp, and it'll tell you your version number, which is my, since I already have updated my yours will say B06, and it'll tell you the latest one, and obviously since I have already ran the update, but basically all that'll happen is it'll say, do you want to run this update? All you simply do is when your phone's still plugged in, you go ahead and click update, and it'll run through all the prompts. Now, once again, very, very important, before you guys run through this, you gotta make sure you back up all your stuff because if you don't back up your stuff, when, when the whole process is finished and your phone is updated, the phone will look like you just took it right out of the box. So uh, I hope you guys learned something from this and I hope I saved you guys some time because like I said, I wasted a bunch of time uh, because I kept leaving my phone plugged in when I was trying to put it in uh, FML mode. So, or FTM, why the heck do I keep saying FML? Probably because that's how I feel right now for just wasting all this time. So thanks a lot for subscribing and stay tuned for future videos.